Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple granny square. Um, this is a very beginner type of granny square that I make here, and this is actually part of a larger project. It's um, part two of how to make a granny square dress. I'll link part one below. Part one has how to measure for the dress and how many um, granny squares you're going to need and, and how to figure that out. So part two here is actually how to make the granny squares. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off making a magic ring. And if you don't know how to make the magic ring, I'm going to link that in the description below. Um, I'm going to start off with a single, but you could make a double and um, in the magic ring tutorial that I'm going to link. It shows you how to do both. I kind of like that it opens up in the middle if with the single, but um, with the double, it won't open up at all. So here you can see that I'm going to, in the magic ring, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to make one two double crochets in that magic ring. So I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to make two double crochets in the magic ring. And now I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to make three double crochets in the magic ring. And that first chain two that we um, made there is going to count as the first stitch. So now I'm just making three double crochets in the magic ring right here. And now I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to make another three double crochets in the magic ring. So there's one, two, and three here. Then after this, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to make another three double crochets in the magic ring here. So there's one, two, and then one more. And that's three. Now I'm going to chain two again. And now I'm going to join with that first chain two that I made. So I'm going to take my tail of my magic ring and I'm going to pull it tight right here. So you pull it tight there and then I'm going to put my hook back in and I'm going to join with that first chain two that I made in that magic ring so if you can see right here I'm kind of one two in that third loop right there so one two three and I'm going to insert my hook right there and then I'm just going to pull it through with the slip stitch. Now I'm going to cut my orange and I'm going to switch colors here. I'm going to move my orange out of the way so it doesn't get into my way. And I'm going to work this in just a little bit so it doesn't get too messy on me. So I'm just going to kind of go through some loops here and work that tail in right there just a little bit. I'm not going to work it in all the way right now, but the truth is I hate working in these all these ends. So I'm going to do them as soon as I can, pretty much as soon as I finish the square, because having a ton to do at the end is really kind of annoying. Now I'm going to switch colors and what I'm doing here is I'm going into that chain two space and then I'm going to bring up a loop and what I like to do, it's a little bit different, but what I like to do is I like to use both strings there and just chain with both of those so it sets that stitch in place. So I'm gonna actually chain two there and then I'm going to do two double crochets and that first chain two does count as a stitch. So in that corner, I'm going to do two double crochets. I'm gonna chain all right, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go in that next chain two space right here. So that chain two space, those are the corners. So now I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain two space. So one, two, three here. 
and then I'm going to do two chains. So one, two, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to do another three double crochets in that corner there. So one, two, and then three. And now I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go to that next corner. And I'm going to do three double crochets in that corner. So one, two, and then three. And now I'm going to chain two again. One, two. And then I'm going to do another three double crochets in that corner there. So one, two, and then three. And I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do three double crochets in that corner. And then three there. And then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do another three double crochets in that corner. So one, two, and then three there. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do three double crochets in that first corner that we started off with. So one, two, and then three there. And then I'm going to chain one, two, and then I'm going to connect with that first chain two that we made. So I'm going to connect right there with that first chain two that we made. I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I want, in this one, I want to continue with this color. So I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to go right in that corner that I was in, and I'm going to do two double crochets in that first chain uh, two counts as a stitch so it counts as a double crochet I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go in that middle chain one that I made earlier I'm going to do three double crochets so there's one two and then three double crochets there and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets in that corner so one two three double crochets there. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do another three double crochets. So one, two, and then three double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do one, two, three double crochets, then I'm going to chain one, then I'm in that corner, I'm going to repeat the pattern. So three double crochets, chain two, and then another three double crochets in that corner. Now in the first video, I tell you what um, size of yarn and what size of hook and everything I use, but I'll just go ahead now. So I'm using a five millimeter hook here, and it doesn't really matter what hook size that you use. This is very adjustable. What matters is that your hook size matches your yarn. So there I just chained one, and then I'm doing three double crochets in that chain one space that we made in the previous round. And then I'm going to chain one again, and then I'm going to repeat three double crochets chain two and then three double crochets in that corner there yeah so the important thing is just to remember um that whatever yarn you pick you're going to um pick the hook size that is good for that yarn and the yarn itself will tell you so here again i'm just chaining one there and then i'm doing three double crochets in that chain one space. So pretty much you chain one, then you do three double crochets in each chain one space. So again, I'm chaining one and I'm doing three double crochets in that chain one space. And then when you get to the corners is when you do the three double crochets, chain two, and then another three double crochets. So there, I chained two right there, and now I'm going, that was the corner, so now I'm going to connect that. And after this, I'm going to change colors. Now, my squares are five inches, um, 
Again, you may have more or less depending on how many colors you use, what size hook you use, but it's very, very easy. All you need to do is measure how many inches around your chest area that you need and then make that many inches in um, around the granny square. And remember, crochet does like to stretch some, so um, you might make it just a little bit tight. And here again, I'm just going to weave this in a little bit um, just because I really don't like doing it at the end. And what I'm going to do with this is, since this is the back side and you're not really going to see it, I'm going to weave it in. And then at the end, what I do is weave it in more and then I tie it and cut it. Now I'm going to change to my green. I'm going to start in that corner and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So I'm going to make chain two. So there's one, two, and then I'm going to make two double crochets in that corner. And if you don't know how to do a double crochet, also, I'll link my video for that below. Also, if you're liking what you see, please subscribe to my channel, push the like button. That would really help me out, and you'll get the rest of this series and see how you put all these granny squares together to make a dress. Now, here, I'm just doing two double crochets in that corner, and that first two chain actually counts as a double crochet so there I chained one and in that chain one space from the previous round I am doing three double crochets in that space so there's two and then there's three now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to repeat so I'm going to do three double crochets right here so one two three there now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. And that's the corner. That's why we're doing it like that because that is the corner there. So I'm just gonna continue that pattern all the way around. So every time there's a chain one space, I'm going to do three double crochets and then chain one. And then every time I come to a corner, which has, um, to a chain two space i'm going to do three double crochets i'm going to chain two and do three double crochets in those corners so and then i just repeat that all the way around so here i'm doing three double crochets in that chain one space from the previous round and then i will chain one and then i'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three more double crochets in that corner and the yarn that I'm using just is a worsted weight four yarn um, this yarn this is a dress for my daughter my daughter picked out the color she wanted so the what looks kind of red there is actually kind of more of a burnt orange and then it's kind of a forest gray and um, with um, some greens mixed in or forced green with some more greens mixed in she really likes those types of colors she loves green green's her favorite color and this yarn that i found is actually something that i got at an estate sale so it's vintage yarn if you're ever looking for a vintage yarn estate sales are fantastic places to buy vintage yarn or any yarn really and it's way way cheaper so i recommend going to estate sales to find yarn and it's it's super fun just finding that kind of stuff especially some more of the vintage type of crocheting things so here i did a chain two in the corner i did the uh, three double crochets chain two and then three double crochets right there and then i'm going to chain one and then i'm going to do three double crochets in that space so there's one two and then three double crochets in that space. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets right there in that space. 
and I'm going to chain one again and I'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch the first chain two that I made which counts as the first stitch in this. So here I'm just joining right here with the slip stitch and then after that I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to add the cream. So I'm just going to pull that through and I'm going to weave it in just a little bit there so it's not all weird looking. And again, before I move on to my next one, I'm going to weave in all these ends because I do not like doing it all at the end. It is a huge job doing it all at the end. So I'm going to weave them all in before I move on to my next granny square. So see here, I'm just kind of straightening that edge up right there. Now I'm going to start in that corner and I'm going to use my last color. So my last color is the cream color here. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Just attach it in the corner. I'm going to chain two. So I chain one and then two. And then I'm going to do two double crochets in that corner. And again, I'm just repeating this pattern. So you just go all around repeating the same pattern that you've done before. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do three double crochets. So there's one, two, three double crochets there. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets. And then I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. So every time there's a chain one spot, I'm going to do three double crochets and then chain one. And every time I get to a chain two spot, I'm going to do the corner stitch, which is three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. And I just repeat that all the way around. Now, I'm gonna give you a week here to make all of these before I release my next video. And my next video is going to be how to put all of these together and um, how to make the skirt portion. I can give you a couple of different options too. I'm going to put them together in one way, but I'm going to make another video also that has different ways that you can put these together because there's just a ton of different ways that you can put granny squares together and you may like one way better than the other. But in this video, I'm going to go with a way that I honestly think is um, the easiest way and extremely beginner friendly. So we're going to go with that option for this video. But um, I'll link more videos so you can see other ways to make granny squares and um, put them together. And again here, I'm just repeating that pattern. So there I'm doing a three double crochets. Then I'm chaining two and doing three more double crochets. And this is just really beginner friendly because it has so many repeats. You don't have to really remember a whole lot of details for this pattern here. So I'm chaining, or sorry, I'm doing three double crochets there. I'm chaining one and then doing three double crochets. And I just keep on going all the way around. And it really doesn't take that long to make this. So really it only takes probably 20 minutes or so to make one of these squares. Um, you could get, once you get used to it, you can get faster at making them also so it wouldn't take too horribly long to make all the squares that you need. And depending on what size of um, yarn you ye need or use and what size of hook you use that's going to depend on um, how many squares that you make but I explained that in the first video and I again I will link that down below so here 
I'm just repeating the pattern of three double crochets in each chain one space. Then I'm chaining one and then doing three double crochets. I just re keep repeating this all the way around. So I'm doing my three double crochets in my chain one space right there and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to in that corner I'm going to finish off here and I'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to join that first double crochet that I made there so I'm just going to join it right there and then I'm going to after I do this I'm going to um, weave in all my ends and here I'm going to um, tie knots in them and cut it off since I know that this is a project that I'm going to keep here in the house and it's for my daughter so I'm just going to um, weave in these ends a bit and then I'm going to tie them off and cut them so here you can see a finished granny square and now I'm going to measure it so I need about five in so I have a five by five square and that's going to fit the size that I need perfect because my daughter around um, the chest area was 35 inches like 35.5 inches so then if I make seven of these that should fit perfect I may do one less because again crochet kind of stretches so anyway I hope you loved this tutorial if you did please like and comment and subscribe to my channel and next week look for number three